A new update for Splatoon will be going live on the 8th of March. In this video, I will be giving you all of the details that you need to know about what this update will do to Splatoon. So to start off with, it will be changing some of the um, stages in the game. So the Splat Zones versions of the following maps will now be used for Turf War, Arowanimal and Marae Towers. So those maps for Turf War will change. I might, and I might try and do a comparison video for that um, if I can actually get on those maps by the time this update does go live. Um, so matching in teams in ranking until now, teams were divided up totally randomly. From now on, the capabilities of the weapons everyone has equipped will be taken into account just a little when teams are decided. So I'm guessing that in terms of like instead of getting like free charges on your team, it will actually split up like the charges. So say like if there are four charges in the lobby, maybe two will go on one team and two will go on the other. To try and balance it out. And I think that's what that is referring to. In ranked, the following ranks will no longer be matched with each other. S plus and S, S and A, A minus and B plus. B minus and C plus. This setting may be changed again in the future depending on how it affects matching times. So essentially S plus will only play S plus, S will only play S um, pretty much as well as all of the other stuff that they did mention there. So there will be changes to ranking points so join a ranked match if a player on your team disconnects the number of ranking points you will lose if you lose obviously will be reduced taking into account how long the player was missing for definitely do like that feature but then again added to that i'd love to see the option of adding in an extra player to fill up that slot i think they could definitely go a step further with that but i'm definitely pleased with that change some changes to splatfest will be coming with this update so during a splatfest the meter showing your win loss ratio will be changed to fez power how much fez power you start with will be determined by factors such as your rank fez power will go up or down depending on whether you win or lose battles the player with the highest fez power on the team will also earn a little bit more for winning during Splatfest, until now, players with similar playstyles have been matched together. But in the future, players with close Fez power will be matched together. If the average Fez power in the team is high, you will get more Fez points for winning a battle. The number of times that players on your team are pressed continue will now be displayed when the next battle starts. The effect warning that a killer whale is about to be fired has been changed as well. They have changed. Um, some of the bugs, I have fixed some of the bugs, so fix the bug in which the comeback gear power effect starts a little late if you super jump immediately after respawning. Other minor changes have been made to improve the gameplay experience. They've also changed some of the gear abilities as well, so Ink Saver Main has been changed. They have increased maximum effect from 40% to 45%. Ink Saver Sub, they have increased the maximum effect from 25% to 35%. Ink Recovery, which I use quite a lot, increased maximum effect from 67% to 82%. So that has had quite a big change, quite a big um, increase. Special Duration Up, maximum, maximum effect for Ink Zuka and Bomb Rush increased from 40% to 60%. For the Ink Strike and Killer Whale, using this power with them will now also allow you to move again immediately after using this attack. That's pretty cool. Opening Gambit, speed up for walking and swimming increased to equal 3 gear powers. That, that's pretty cool change as well. Last Ditch Effort, during ranked match, the effects become permanent once the opposing team's timer goes below 30. Will also be in effect during overtime as well. In addition to the existing effect, also reduces respawn time when active. Tenacity has been changed as well, 20% increase in the speed of the gauge increasing. Comeback, in addition to the existing effects, special charge up also in effect when active. Haunt has been changed as well, in addition to the existing effects, give you attacks up, defense up and inkling move speed up. 
while opponent is marked. Recon has been changed as well, effectively, effectively now lasts for 3.5 seconds after leaving the spawn. In addition to the existing effects, the weapons each enemy has equipped will also be shown on your map. Bomb Sniffer has been changed as well, in addition to the existing effects, reduces damage that is less than 100% from Splash Sticky, Chase and um, Trap Bombs by 40% and reduces Quick Bomb damage, damage by 20%. These calculations are made prior to any attack up or defense up bonuses. Um, so it sounds like to me that they are trying to make some of the less popular gear abilities um, like they're trying to give them extra abilities to make more people use them. So I think that's pretty cool what they're doing with those abilities. It's like I never use opening gambit, I never use recon or haunt. Um, so I think it is kind of good how they are trying to make those um, gear abilities, some of the weaker abilities in Splatoon more appealing to use they're trying to make those abilities more balanced but that is pretty much everything that will be going on in this update but there will be another update soon when um sheldon picks will be added in so pretty much what that is like how before you had like certain weapons with certain gear abilities now sheldon will recommend a weapon with different gear abilities so the splatter shot how before it came with like certain like a suction bomb and ink zuka. Now Sheldon will re recommend another splatter shot which will have a different gear ability and a different special weapon which is pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to that update. Let me know your thoughts about everything that this update includes. But until next time, I'm Matt of here for now. Thank you for watching. My voice is gradually going so I must apologise. If my voice is a little bit monotone in this video, Hopefully you have enjoyed this video nonetheless. But until next time, I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.